Hello and welcome to Explore Analytics, the easy to use business intelligence tool that makes reporting as easy as answering a question. We're going to take a quick tour of the IT service management analytical application for ServiceNow that answers really powerful questions for a number of stakeholders throughout the IT service management world. The first dashboard I'm looking at is you know, something that's going to really help me if I'm on the service desk, I'm triaging, and I'm, I'm a manager, and I'm trying to understand what's going on right now. So you can see right here some live reports that are showing me, you know, how is the current incident volume and backlog, you know, relative to what it's been previously? Are we seeing a spike in volume? Do I need to get more resources brought to the table? Are there any particular locations that are suffering from uh, incidents right now? Are there any recent changes or issues that I need to be aware of or process bottlenecks that my manager is going to call up? Very key questions for me to understand what's going on right now in my environment. I can also look at this from a manager's perspective. So if I want to understand the work that my team is doing, how are they performing on it? Very quickly, easily to very quick and easy for me to see what are my team working on right now what SLAs are they breaching you know what's approaching breach and and how long do I have to address these issues so I can very easily redirect my team to the places where they're most useful and again at any time I can click to drill through and view details on what my team is working on I can also look at this in terms of my own personal work if I'm someone on the service desk who wants to work out of this and, and redirect my efforts. As a business service owner, I can look at the world from the perspective of business services. So I can see based on outages, the average time, the total time, and some calculations that are going to show the cost to the business and the uptime, the mean time between failures. So I can see you know that email is currently the least performant and it's actually causing a huge pain to the business again allowing me to redirect my focus on those services and I can go a little bit deeper into that what are the causes of incidents that are breaching their SLAs you know who is consuming my business service from a, a, a cost perspective perspective who are the stakeholders that I'm going to be responsible to um, you know again very key questions for me to be able to answer if I own a business service I can also look more long term and historically across incidents to see, you know, what's the trend of the incidents that's been created in terms of outages, in terms of emergency changes, you know, in P1 incidents to make it very easy for me to see kind of what's going on uh, in my environment. I can look at it from an SLA perspective to see across my SLAs, how are we performing? And that's including both uh, calculated availability SLAs as well as performance on tasks. So very easily I can see what percent of the time are we meeting or not meeting our obligations and I can look at it specific to any particular SLA. I can also look for a business service across both you know, availability as well as task SLA. Again, very powerful questions I need to answer if I'm the SLA manager and I need to understand what's going on. From a change management perspective, I can see the long-term trend of changes? Are we being more or less reactive? Are we managing the risk of changes? What types of incidents are we creating from our change management process? Which teams are running into issues when they're going to deploy changes? I can also look at it from a change advisory board perspective and understand what changes are upcoming. You know, uh, what's the lead time on those changes? So I have a couple changes that need to be approved within the next 12 hours, you know, ones that have, you know, less than five days of lead time. So again, I can focus my energies and make sure that we're addressing these changes and we're being very rapid and agile in how we're addressing these changes. I can see, you know, from the service desk perspective, you know, what kinds of incidents versus requests are being open. So if I want to understand user demand in terms of the services that we're offering, I can see that kind of across process. I can also see how are people engaging with us. Right now, almost half of the people are still reaching to us by phone. So how are we going to address self-service and improve that as a part of how people are contacting with us? What are people calling us about? You know, how often are they going for status calls or, or just, you know, general questions? And on the subject of general questions and the information, I can take a look from the perspective of a knowledge manager. What's the quality of the articles, right? We're reducing the number of articles that are being flagged, but our ratings are down. You know, it's sending me, I need to understand, you know, what are people looking for? What are people able or not able to get 
by our knowledge management. Here are the incidents that required knowledge in order to be uh, in order to be solved. Again, we want to make it very easy to understand, you know, what's going on in our environment. Similarly, for the service catalog, being able to answer questions like, how well are we delivering service? You know, are we spending a lot of time rejecting requests? Are we driving down the cost from demand? Uh, is the volume rising or falling? You know, what types of items are most popular? What items are we rolling out into the service? So that I get a sense of whether the services that we're delivering to our users are aligned with what they're asking for us. And are we delivering that in a reasonable way? Uh, you know, Similarly, I can actually take a look into the individual items and get a little bit of a sense of, you know, for every item, you know, what's the minimum and the maximum price and what's the average price? Are we really driving people to choose the least expensive options? Uh, I can see, you know, the estimated delivery time versus the promised delivery time. So we said we were going to deliver SQL servers within, you know, 160 days. We're averaging 219 days. Maybe we should be setting expectations better. We're looking to optimize those processes. So you can see that throughout this application, through all of the core incident, problem, change, SLA, and catalog processes, we're giving a lot of depth of visibility and a lot more interactive controls to the users to be able to very easily understand what's going on using this you know, very powerful, modern, and easy to use tool with interactive controls where I can really reformat the reports the way that I want to. And again, I can drill down to the data that composes that. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you want to find out more, there's more information on the Explore Analytics website. There's also a free 30-day trial where you could try this against your own data and a live demo ServiceNow instance where you could see this all in action. Thank you.